Otak seems to be going into the finals with a little bit of confidence, huh? He is. He has that young confidence. 17 years old, nothing to lose. Long career ahead of him. And uh, I think he would want to be the Titan or the player that takes down the Titan, Carl Jr., you know. That's a player that history will remember. The player oh, that finally dethrones Carl from the top spot. It Could it be, be Otak? Amazing. And a 17-year-old at that to do it. If he does it now, time can only tell what his, his career in Trickmania holds. Exactly. It's about to start. We are starting on New School, picked by Carl Jr., followed by the map picked by Mime, Bob Sag. Then we go to Quicksand, and then Red Landing by Otak, and Heart is the random map that will be played. So as soon as the warm-up concludes here, then we're live with the World Championship Final. The players are going to try to reach 140 points to uh, win the match. When they get to 140, they have to win one round on any map to close out the match and become World Champion. In each round, the winner gets 10 points, second place gets 6, third place gets 4 points, and last place gets 3 points. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll stop joking as things are about to get very serious. This is the World Championship Final of Trekmania in 2022. The players are on the server. We have 25 seconds of warm-up on the first map in New School, picked by Carl Jr., the defending champion that the other three players are looking to beat. Absolutely here. I am looking forward to the first couple of rounds. Carl Jr. had a shaky start here, but will he be able to get back as we get back into New School? What a great map from the old World uh, World Champions competition. Remade right here for the 2022 World Cup. Who's going to take it home as we go into the first round virtual? We are live. We go to 140 points. The players are going to try to collect as many as they can in the rounds leading up to that. And when they reach the limit, they have to win one last round to secure the championship for themselves when they reach that finalist mode. Here we saw Mime crash out in the very first round there, missing a drift. So he's going to fall a bit behind the others. Mudda using his wide line here to overtake Otak, but he's going to leave the back wheel a bit too wide, clipping the entry of the road. And so far, it's a bit of a shaky start. Only Carl Jr. has gotten through the first couple of turns here without crashing. Yeah, Carl Jr. already showing that pace is necessary, but also consistency. He is 0.3 ahead of Otak here on second place. Otak is the only one who can contest for that victory. Carl Jr. just needs a couple of ice slides here, and he will be on first here on the first round. One more ice slide to the right. Will he be able to get a tight line? He is also touching the inside wall, but it works out for him with 105.5. And a nice time coming in here from Carl Jr. Great start for Carl. It's much better than how the semi went on the same map. He has kept picking this map up for himself. And importantly, he is also banned away forest climbing. That was his early pick in the group stage. But then he saw Mime was way too fast on it. So he took that away and he's setting himself up nicely here. Players like Mudda and Otak are very prepared to take a bit of a loss on this map. Because Carl is just so good. You can, you can imagine like, what does he do differently? How does he do it? It's just a little bit better in each turn. Bit more refined, like 200s here, 300s there. It builds up and he's able to consistently do slightly better racing lines than his opponents. Absolutely. Here it actually does look like Mudda has gotten a little bit better at that wide line. He keeps getting like almost point one back up to the field on that white line on the plastic. And he's now finding himself on second place. Mime on first, doing really well in this second round here of new school will he be able to maintain that lead Carl Jr. looking to fight but he is actually a little bit behind point two of a deficit right here as we head into the final section Carl Jr. going for a very risky line almost sliding out but keeping the gear Mime is remaining in the lead but Carl Jr. attacks right here in the ending and he will take another 10 pointer on the map of his choice insane snipe for Carl coming into the ice slide in third and getting first position that's 20 points now for him out of the 20 possible, and he uh, does set himself up nicely here. He makes it worthwhile to select this as his map. He is now twice 
as many points as Mime on second place. Getting those two first places is huge here for Carl, especially as we saw him be a little bit shaky in the semifinals. He has shaken that off and is now once again in the lead as we see a little bit of a mistake there coming in from Otak. He's going to find himself in fourth. Now taking a look at Mota with that wide line. What is that? Almost with a mistake there. He does come back with the exit speed, finding himself back up to second place but that looked very risky right there virtual that did and just on the note of momentum this is very dangerous right now they have to try to stop carl while they still can because if he gets the ball rolling if he gets past the opening nerves and if he starts to really feel it that's when you can quickly have a match run away from you he did this in trackmania grand league winter finals two years ago where he won 12 out of 13 rounds to start a match and it was almost just over before it began mime here trying to stop that winning streak carl jr with more speed in the ice side though this is going to be close on the line carl takes it by four hundredths of a second and continues the streak three in a row now for the defending champion he definitely is con con continuing the streak and the thing to look at that was a point eight right there that was where the other players had to capitalize and stop him from getting that first place because a point eight is not what we usually see that first place be we're looking more at a point five or point four even called junior getting those point three so a point eight that is where the other players should have capitalized trying to get that 10 pointer away from called junior but called junior now looking very strong with a triple victory at the very start of the grand finals can he clean sweep new school last time it was 29 points out of the 40 possible but he is right up there fighting for another win to take another 10-pointer. Otak just ahead, Mara jumping out, and Mime is point four behind. So Otak, the young French player, if he's not here to get fourth place and he wants to show that, a good way to start is to beat Carl Jr. on his map choice in the ending. On the ice, only a car length, Carl getting closer, carrying a bit more speed through the drift, setting up wider though, and this might give Oltak an opportunity on the inside line to carry more speed towards the last ice slide, but Carl Jr. does remain ahead, and with Oltak crashing, Carl clean sweeps the start of the finals. And with a point three to boot, Carl showing that dominance on New School, and this is already looking heavily in Carl Jr.'s favor as we jump into the next map they need to deny him here the first round on this map also important to just stop whatever is happening that streak needs to end they gotta get him on bob sag mime picked this because he thought this is a map where i can maybe beat carl his average is slightly better overall in this track the identity a bobsley zigzag where the movement that you have going into it is very important and apart from that it is a very technical track that suits Carl Jr. and it's set in Canadian scenery here. Toronto buildings and the CN Tower in the background to make up the atmosphere here. Yes and I think right here the important section of the ending is to not slide out. It is so easy to lose a bunch of speed. It is so easy to crash out. We're gonna see who has the most consistency out of these four players. You're gonna need to drive a low 101 here, I think, and the world record is a 1 minute and 80 hundredths. That is around the bar where it's set mind though in his first round on his own map. Does miss the drift and loses half a second, and it's Carl again in first. But Mada is able to keep up right behind there as they go up the dirt hill here. Working to get a good speed slide on the exit to optimize. This following straight and Mara gets maybe a little bit closer to Carl before the long drift around the water pool and then the ice and the identity. Yeah, we're going to see a few different approaches coming in here onto the ice slide. Actually, all of the players now opting to go on the inside line. We've seen a few different ones, but it does look like the finalists opt for the inside line. Going into the final section, the bobsleigh section of the map called Junior will go into it with the lead. Will he remain there? Looks to get a very, very nice landing. And Cole Jr. with a little bit less speed than the others will remain in the lead, though. Getting five victories in a row with a low 101. And Mime, who was the closest to him on the leaderboard, got last, so this gap is increasing. He's already 25 points ahead of everyone else. And how long will this go on? 
I mean, it is difficult to say, but right now, Carl Jr. is showing the dominance that he is known for, absolutely going into machine mode. It seems like he is not stopping for anybody. Once again, actually, from the very get-go of this round, he will also take the lead, and it's up to the other players to see if they can take it back going into the next half of the map. But it looks like Carl is really feeling this now. He hasn't been put out of his element. No one has surprised him with anything he wasn't prepared to deal with. He keeps driving these low 101 runs and he just says, are you going to be able to keep up with me? Because I'm in my mood right now. I'm in the flow. Otak, the closest on that ice side. Mine going up very low on the setup. Not going to have a lot of speed for the end. Maybe even advantage Mutter to try to catch up. But Carl, look at that. Beating everyone by a mile here. He gets a bad landing though and Mime has a chance to catch up. It's going to be close for the finish line, but Carl holds on. That's the sixth round in a row. That is incredible. Six out of six for Carl Jr. 60 points to his name. Closest person is Mime, almost twice as low in points, 31. And Mime is trying to extend the lead on the Mutter and Otag right here. Actually, seven points ahead of Mutta, but the last three players in the field here actually getting pretty close to each other. And mine was close there. It was only a matter of a few hundredths, but mm. this is also the map he thinks he has the best chance against Carl on. Carl saw what mine could do on Forest Climb earlier and thought, okay, I don't want to deal with that in the finals, but here on the second best map, mine could pick into the map pack. Carl is still dominating. Is it going to be the seven out of seven? Because Carl here would then already, after seven rounds, be halfway to finalist. Otak trying to prevent that from happening, but into the ending. I know history favors here in situations like these. Carl gets a bit more speed. Otak setting up wider though, could get a better speedy landing here, and he will do so, but does he carry that to the next jump? Carl now looks to have the better landing. Otak clips. And Carl will flip out the streak ends. Mutter takes the other 10 pointer here in the match, the first that they can take away from Carl. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Carl looking like he was gonna take another victory, but a bad landing in the bobsleigh shoots him out of the track. And just like that, he will lose his streak, actually getting fourth place there in that race. And Mutter will be very happy to take home that victory and a very important 10 points for Mutter. They're still almost 30 points behind. And now if they want to have a chance at winning, they need to stop Carl from getting right back into that, but really putting him under pressure, getting those good runs in and putting him in those third and fourth places. He will happily take seconds if he can get that. Mara has made a mistake early and Otak is two tenths behind. But Mime, the young Polish player now, running away as Carl missed the drift a little bit on that water part, even Otak passing him, and maybe they can make that happen together. Yeah, Carl Jr. getting a lot of exit speed there going into the ice slide though, so he's gonna get a little bit close to Mime, but going so inside, might not get the exit speed out of it, and Mime is now gonna be a lone in the lead, 0.4 ahead of Carl Jr. He only needs a great landing here, and he does get it, and Mime is gonna take home that 10-pointer on his own map choice with a very strong 101.13. Yeah, he beats Carl's peak pace here, but he did have some crashes in the other round, which cost him two, uh, one fourth place and one third. Whereas Carl was, you know, two first places, one second. So Mime there, not getting the best trade on his own choice, but he does get some points out of it. This is still an incredible race and Carl Jr. really showing us why he is the four-time world champion. But now we get into Quicksand, a map picked by Mutter. And it is also in his home of Australia that is picked. So also in his home turf, Mutter favors this map due to the very high speed that the map has and the accumulation of speed that you get throughout the map. Yeah, the nature of this map is that you always want to build up as much speed as possible. It lines up with the track style Mutter, Goddess Foundations in the full speed style. And it is such a difficult map that he wants to throw the curveball to the other players and say, can you handle me on Quicksand, a map where I could beat Carl Jr. in the Trackmania Grand League Spring Playoffs. This is a map that's the most banned of the map pack that we have. It was banned 22 times in the group stage. 
just to mention that. Here we go with the first round, and we may see a lot of crashes here. This is difficult. This is very difficult. Already going into the first dirt section. Carl Jr. with a mistake. Mutta also hitting the outside line there. And it's now going to be Otak and Mime finding themselves alone in the lead. And just like that, that speed that you lose from hitting the outside line is so bad. And you are going to see them four seconds behind. Now it's up to Mime and Otak to get back some of those points. This is important for Otak. The only person with less than 30 points to his name. He's really going to be happy with that second or first place if he can overtake mime here as they head into the ice slide you want to make sure that you get the exit speed right here it is truly important as otak gets a little bit more exit speed than mime and might get a little bit closer going into the identity mime still has it but look at this otak wiggling on the plastic to speed slide to gain speed to overtake mime all of a sudden onto the sand now you want to hit as many dirt patches as possible for speed and otak going for water line might have the snipe here on the line mime holds on by three hundredths of a second in a very close battle there between the two crash players, but Mara keeps Carl in fourth, at least in this round. And that is going to be very important for the rest of the players, knowing that Carl Jr. will only get that three-pointer out of this one. But once again, this map is very precise, and the players are trying to accumulate as much speed as they can throughout the entirety of this map. So already from the very beginning, the speed you get here out of this wall ride is very very important because we head into a no engine or an engine off section and just accumulate more speed right here you can see already Cole jr is lacking behind yeah he is two times behind the three players in their first world championship final all second mind their first world championship ever they're trying to dethrone the goat but he's already set a really good foundation to potentially win this final maybe this is the map where they can put him off his game a little bit Quicksand is so tough that it is going to be hard for Carl here to keep up. Mime now with a fantastic run up front there, but they're actually all fending him off before the ending, before the quicksand where Carl goes for this ramp cut. He used it in the spring playoffs as well. He goes up to second with that as he reduces air time. Mime and Mutta still ahead onto the boosters. Can Mutta snipe this first place away? He will not. Mime remains ahead and all the positions are set. Mime, Mutta, Carl, and Otak. Great time for Mime. Mime seems to be very consistent here on this map, taking home two of those victories already. And Mutta getting a very nice second place. He will definitely take that. This is important for the players to catch up to Carl Jr. as we head into another round of Quicksand and, once again. And look what's happened. Mime on the last round of Bobsag and now two wins on Quicksand. That's 30 points right there. And all of a sudden, Carl's lead is shrinking. He's only 11 points up where he was 30 earlier. So this has bounced back a little bit, and Mime is looking like he's found the flow here. Mime is keeping up with Carl on the notes. He's starting a streak of his own, and you can see Mutta there fail on the left side. That means three players left. But if Mime gets this one as well, he'll get ever closer to trying to dethrone Carl. Otak here is keeping up as well, but he really needs some more points. Yeah, Mime is actually showing a surprising amount of pace going into this map. And Mutta is going to be so far behind. If he makes another mistake, he might not even be able to finish here. Mime in a clear lead. Carl Jr. once again with that ram cut. Overtaking Otak, actually getting really close to Mime, but he's not going to have the exit speed. Mime just needs to get these last few turns, and he will take three out of three victories here on Quicksand on Mutta's map pick. And it does seem like he's going to be able to do so. Four wins now in a row for Mime in the last couple of rounds. And yeah, it's going really well for him. Not the greatest rounds for Mutta yet, but maybe he can get the last one. And Mime there, he doesn't gain too much ground against Carl, but importantly against the others. You can see a big gap there between second and third is starting to form. Yeah, this is important for oh, Mime. Mutta. And maybe, ooh, Crash was that Mutta? Unfortunately, Mutter's not doing too well on his own map choice, but Mime is very happy about how the positions are turning out right now. Mime winning four matches in a row, actually sneaking up on the streak that Carl Jr. had just before. But as I say that, Carl Jr. is in the lead by about 0.1 towards the rest of the field but mime seems to be getting more exit speed here in the jump if he has too much speed he will hit this checkpoint it managed to dodge it and now it's between carl jr and mime carl jr on the inside setup mime maybe going a bit wider for the speed on the landing here there's an engine off block and carl 
will still get the best of that. Now with the ram cut, he could extend as long as he reduces their time properly. Mime also going for it. And in fact, that's going to equal them right up at the checkpoint side by side before the quicksand. Wider setup for Mime. It's going to be able to catch the booster earlier. Carl going for the exit speed and this could get him the win on the line. Carl snipes it away there. He's not going to let Mime get much closer. He takes that win and ends the streak. Ends a mime streak just like Carl Jr.'s streak got ended earlier, but both of them seem to have taken a lead from the rest of the field. Yeah, they're consistently getting first and second place here, and it's very hard for Mara and Otak to keep up with. But maybe they can do it here. We're now on Otak's map pick, Red Landing. This is the moment he's been waiting for. Very consistent on this map. He's also good on Heart, the randomly chosen map. But if he wants to have a save for that first place, he needs some time pointers here. Yeah, I mean, this is a map that Mime has historically been really good at. I think that Mime might even be able to sneak up on Carl Jr.'s points right here. And Carl Jr. is starting to look a less dominant than he was a second ago. But once again, the first map choice or the first map that we played was called Junior's new school pick. And that's going to be in rotation again, just about before Carl Junior is going to hit that finalist position. It will. Now, one important detail here, Mud actually wiggles in the start to gain a couple of hundredths. That's a trick he's been using to get a bit more grip there. And I believe we actually have never seen Carl Junior play this map in the championship yet. I think this is the first time we see Carl in a match on Red Landing and we will truly get to know what he's capable of here. See, that's the question. Because he hasn't played Red Landing in the in matches, does that mean he's going to have slower paces? We're going to have to see. Currently, he is on fourth place, though, trading a little bit behind the rest of the field. Mime is in first. He has been showing us some great pace on this map, but Otag is fighting for it. Definitely, both of the players are able to take it home right here. Less than 0.1 of a second separating the two leaders as we head into the final right-hander before the jumps. Mime will take the lead as of right now. Who's going to get the jumps the best? Mime going for a very, very low line. Is he going to be able to maintain the speed? He is. One more jump separating Mime from the victory. First round here going to Mime. And Mara will snipe away that second place from Otak. So what's happened here is Mime gets first and Carl gets last. Mime will get very close now to Carl overall. Yeah, that is super important for Mime. Only four points behind Carl Jr. And he could very well, and very well be taking that first place away from him. And did you notice the time? That's a 108 that Mime just drove. 108 under the 109 mark that's top three in the world on the leaderboard for sure maybe even the world record that is incredible showing there from mime and he has been showing us that he has some of these maps he has incredible pace on and he is not afraid of driving world record times in the middle of these matches fantastic start from Mata now finally getting that wiggle and additional time after it and Mime the one to crash now and potentially at that last place of so Carl if he doesn't want to get overtaken in points needs to get some good runs here through when Mime fails this is a moment for him to capitalize but Mata is holding down the fort in first place will get a lot of speed on the exit of the bobsleigh here look at that perfectly timed Really good on that style, but now the jumps. We know Otak is really good at landing on these boosters, carrying the speed. Carl getting the worst of it. Mara shooting up into first, but is he going to get the last landing? Carl and Otak are right there to snipe it. Who's going to get second? Carl will take that away. Mara gets the 10 low. And Ooh, a DNF. And Mime with the DNF, yeah. Ooh, that is not good for Mime. And Carl Jr. will take once again a lead by 10 points ahead of mime but a very very important amount of points there coming in for mara mara and otek need to get some points here in the next couple of rounds because they are trailing quite far behind the top two players they are it's a 40 point gap just about to mime and carl uh with with otak and mara struggling a little bit and it's starting to be at a point where you gotta you know, put the effort in now because they're going to hit finalists before you know. And on New School and on Bob Sag, they're almost unbeatable. Yeah, it definitely looks like they're doing really well. Once again, Mime here in the lead, but Otak 
has shown us that he has really good pace coming up all the way to the bobsleigh. Only the ending has denied Otak from the victory. So let's see if he's going to be able to overtake Mime. Call Jr. is also in the mix. Once again, one last right-handed drift coming out of the ice section. And then we have the jumps. Who's going to get it the best here? Mime jumping pretty far. Otak landing really, really early. Almost not making it, but he's still in the mix. Mime continues to be on first call. Junior is going to try to snipe it out. Is he going to be able to make it? Almost, but Mime will just inch that out ahead of Call Junior. Such an important win for Mime there. The 200s go in his favor, and he stops Carl from winning on red landing. This is a map Mime picked earlier on because he favored it. And now you see why he's six points behind Carl. He's following him all the way up to 100 points. We go to 140, and if Mime can keep this up, he could very realistically dethrone Carl. Yeah, that would be huge here. And I think there's a lot of pressure riding on Mime's shoulders as he knows that it would be an amazing accomplishment to dethrone Carl here in this World Championships. But he is definitely the one who looks to be able to do it as we head into a very, very important section of the map. Trying to get this outside line without getting too much airtime. And Mutta is currently in the lead going into the plastic section. Losing a little bit. I think he lost the gear right there. And Carl Jr. will inherit the lead. Mime right behind him. And Mutta will fall down to third. He will, and Otak made a mistake as well. It is the two players that we've seen get the most points, get the most wins, fighting for this round here. Mime versus Carl on the last jumps. Carl setting up wider. Mime air breaking early to try to get a flat landing, try to get the booster gates. He will do so. Carl had to respawn, missing the checkpoint. Here, Mime could get the lead of the match, and he will, I think, as Carl is now in last. Mime is going to be leading the World Championship final. That is incredible from Mime. Now he just needs to keep up the pace here. The next couple of the next couple of maps are going to be difficult for Mime to keep that lead on, but he's going to fight his heart out as he takes the lead in the grand finals. And what a comeback. It started with six Carl wins. It was looking like a stomp, and then out of nowhere, Mime strings together four rounds, and then on red landing, he gets three wins as well. He's making it work. Heart now is the map. This is a very pace-based map. We know Carl is fantastic at it, but maybe they can come and stop him by driving just a few hundreds faster. Yeah, I mean, Mime has shown that he has a really, really strong pace, and if he can be consistent here in the ending, he might be able to maintain just that first or second place would be enough for him to get into finalist position pretty close to when Carl is going to, if Carl remains ahead as well. It's going to be very, very interesting right here in the Grand Finals. We're starting out on the pipe. This is not an easy section, not trivial to get that turnaround right, to use... The curvature to get your car across. Carl gating at just a few hundredths there already. And Mara already lost a tenth just in the opening turns. Then a very important dirt turn to stay all the way up on the banked outside of the turn to get more speed. Mara clipping the wheel there and falls out of the first round here. Now across the grass wall ride before we set up before the most important drift on the map. You have to go all the way up on the edge here. Push for speed down the hill because this will extend all the way up until the second half of the map. Yeah, as you can see, Mime did not get the same amount of speed and will be overtaken by Carl Jr. But the top three players here fighting it out. Want to get full grip on the downhill in the dirt here. Managed to do so. Otak with a little bit of a mistake. And now it's going to be Mime and Carl Jr. fighting it out here. One more right-handed turn before we go into the identity. Who's going to get these jumps the best? Mime and Carl Jr. fighting it out. The first and second place currently on the leaderboard. They're going to be neck and neck. Is Mime going to be able to get the exit speed? Not quite. And Carl Jr. will be taking home oh. that first 10-pointer. They are following each other step by step. It was dead equal with three jumps to go. Carl starts us off with a point four and he takes back the lead now. Three points ahead and we're 20 and 23 points away from them reaching finalists. This is intense. This is so intense, and it is starting to get really important for Mutta and Otak to get some of these good times. Otak going into the Grand Finals with what looked to be a lot of confidence, currently in fourth position. He needs to push himself a little bit more to be able to get the pace that the others seem to be driving at, but this Grand, grand Finals is looking to be an incredible show.
It is almost Carl versus Mime for the title. Hard to see how Mudda and Ota can come back, but they can play the Nile, especially, you know, if it goes all the way back to Quicksand and whatnot. Here, though, Carl in first, ahead of Mime, before the dirt downhill. Full grip for both. Mime committing for a lot of speed. Needs the time to turn perfectly to get around the corner and look at that Ooh. trajectory. He overtakes Carl with three jumps to go. The first one goes his way. Carl getting a lot of speed out of that landing. Mime going wide, but it couldn't still be enough as long as he lands up on the platform cleanly. Mime takes a win right back and he takes the lead of the match. What a crazy water section from Mime. That was an absolutely Perfect left-hander in the water, making him overtake Carl Jr. and managing to maintain the lead all the way to the finish line. And now, once again, Mime will be in first place on the leaderboard. They could get finalists the same round. It looks like they will. If they keep playing like this, they're both going to get double finalists if uh, they get first and second two times. Here though, Mime, that water turn, you have to full send. You have to just know the timing to feel it. Because if you're a little bit off, it's going to go right into the wall. And he dared to go for more speed than Carl did to get the win. Can he do that again here? Can he keep it up? Can he handle the pressure that's starting to mount in the semi-final? It took him many attempts to close out when he got to finalist. Will he be able to do that here if it comes to it? Right now, Carl in the lead by a tenth, but look at the trajectory from Mime to come right back. And then the water turn. This time it's Carl going for more speed, but Mime needs to hit the trajectory all the same. Needs to get around and into the checkpoint on the inside line. He will overtake Carl with three jumps to go. The same desist as last time. Mudda's there as well. Who has the most speed? Carl in front, but Mime gets a bit more speed perhaps. Is it going to be enough? Carl takes it. Three hundreds ahead. Ooh, this is so... Close between Mime and Carl Jr., but a beautiful Mime in the or a beautiful line from Mime in the downhill there on the dirt section before the identity overtaking Carl Jr. Not quite able to maintain the lead, but oh! currently, oh, Mime makes a huge mistake and that's gonna send him all the way back. Currently, that's gonna put him on fourth position. He's not gonna be able to get that finalist position in this round. And now, Carl Jr. can maintain, if he can maintain that first place, even second place is gonna be third place. He's gonna be a finalist after this round if he can just hit the finish line before mine now. Yeah, he only needs a third, and he's been gifted almost a free third place here at this level. Denying him won't do much good for Mora and Otak. We need to see Carl make a big mistake if he isn't going to get finalist. And what this means is that Mime will have to deny him twice in a row on New School to become the champion himself. That's a tough task, but if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best at their best. Carl still in the lead here, looking for that 10-pointer. Can Mudda take it away? It won't do much except propel Mudda a little bit higher, and Mudda with a clean end will do so. Fantastic jumps there to give a spark of hope for the Australian. I mean, now Cole Jr., as you said, is on finalists. And it's gonna be the new school map that he has an option to win on. And new school, once again, is the map that Carl Jr. picked himself. And also a map where he has more pace than any other player, more consistency than any other player we've seen so far. So currently, it's gonna be a very, very difficult task for Mime to deny him. It is. We know Carl can do 105.3, 105.4, 105.5 consistently. But earlier, we saw some dents in the armor. We saw him do 0 0.8, point, uh, and even 06, like one second slower. It can happen, but Mime, he needs at least two rounds to get to finalist, and someone has to deny Carl. But as we've talked about before, sometimes the hardest victory to get is the one where you are in that finalist spot. A lot of pressure is weighing on your shoulders, and let's see if... Call Jr. can take it home here. This is the only round where Call Jr. will be the only finalist where he can breathe light and oh, not. Has, oh, a huge crash from Call Jr. And he's going to be fighting with Mime with a double finalist situation in the next round. Mime had a terrible crash in the start of the previous map, and now Carl fails as the first finalist round. If Mime just finishes among the top three here, then he has done the task to get finalists as well. And we're going to have two finalists battling it out. Carl Jr. 
the reigning champion Mime, the up and coming talent, last World Cup, he didn't make it to the playoffs, now he could be world champion one round away from it, as long as he finishes this round, Mudda and Otak also trying, and Mudda is starting to get close to finalists himself, it's going to be a long journey there. But he will breach 100 points with a second place here at least. Mime, clean there. What's the pace gonna be? Can we get an indicator? If Mime can do this, he will win the round with a point four, and that is sending danger signals to Carl. That's Carl's not pace. Gonna, not gonna lie, Mime had a slow ending and could have drove driven point one faster if he got a good eyesight in the ending. I think he saved that one, and that would have been a low point three. Really, really showing that. Carl Jr. has to give out his best pace if he wants to deny Mime now. And we're in a double finalist situation in the grand finals. Mime and Carl Jr. trying to close it out. Mora and Otak, they're gonna do their best to deny the two finalists. Otak currently in the lead. Mime not having the best start as he trails a little bit behind and it's now down to Otak to deny Carl Jr. Otak with a mistake and Carl Jr. is now gonna be alone in the lead. Is he gonna be able to take at home is he gonna be able to get these last few turns is he gonna be able to call himself the five-time world he champion he crashes he made Otak a mistake is ahead of mine mine has a chance to get the world championship title for himself he only needs to beat Otak in the ending by a tenth Carl has fallen behind half a second and mine could do this right now the ice awaits two ice lines for the title Otak will try his best to remain ahead but mine slides I out Otak is now going to be all alone in the lead, denying the two finalists. Carl Jr. Oh. also snipes oh. out just for good measure. And it's going to be Otak and Mudd on first and second. We're going to have another double finalist situation. Incredible nerves right now. They all know how much this means. They know what's at stake. The pressure is immense. Whoever can handle it the best right now will be the champion. We go again, another minute of new school, and hopefully we get a cleaner start, a better race to follow, because that was way too intense for my heart. Yeah, that is incredible. Putting everybody at the edge of their seat and making sure that the casters have no voice less left after this cast. Call Junior currently in the lead. We're going to see Mutter go for a wider line here once again, trying to get back up into the field with that exit speed. And he does seem to get it. Once again, Otak and Mutter actually driving really well here, trying to deny the two finalists. But Call Junior is not giving up as of yet, trying to fight it out. And maybe he will be able to get it back here in the final. Slide. Carl had a bad line right there. The lead is increasing for Otak, two tons out of everyone else, and the two finalists are just waiting right there for a mistake, for a slide out. It could still be the side of right here. Mime crashes out, just has to hope that they will deny Carl Jr. as we go into the ice. Mudda has a bad ice slide. It's only Otak, the 17 year old, does he? Oh, he misses the ice line! Yeah. And Carl Jr. is the five time champion! No way! That is incredible! Carl Jr. taking home the five-time world champion title. Otak unfortunately sliding out in the ending, was not able to keep it together with the pressure. And now Mime is the only finalist left. Is he going to be able to take home that second place? Incredible for Carl Jr. The greatest of all time is great when it matters most here. He wins again, but we saw Mime, a young player from Poland, take him all the way to 140 points and put us at the edge of our seat. He really gave him, I think, one of the strongest fights he's had in a final. So mad respect to Mime for doing that. Now, let's see if he can close it out against Otak and Mara. They are ahead of him on New School, but he does have his pick coming up in the next round if this map doesn't go his way, and we will see if Otak and Mara can maybe come back in the match and deny him right now. Mime is looking for it, goes very close to the tree and the inside line here, but he's gonna lose valuable speed before the drift setup. Otak looking for another turn, and he's starting to get into the groove here. But just a little late into the match, Mime slides out. That's not gonna be a win. Mara overtakes on the ice, and he's gonna secure a 10. This match isn't over yet. It is not over yet, but Mime has just a few rounds where he's going to be the only finalist. And Mudda and Otak have to deny him for at least three rounds before anybody else is going to get that finalist position.
They are. Mara is now around the 120 mark. We are on Bob Sag. Mime's pick. And let's hope he can get over the disappointment of not winning and secure a second place. Still an incredible first World Cup appearance here for Mime. It has oh. to be said. It's amazing what he's accomplished. This is definitely incredible. Not to take anything away from Otak, who's also having his first appearance, the 17-year-old from France, playing on his home turf, and the first uh, first person from France in what? How long was it since the last uh, Eight French years. player? Eight years. Eight years since the last French player was in the Grand Finals, and Otak doing it on his first attempt. Incredible. Here we go to see if Mara uh, can, oh, sorry, if Mime can close it out. Or if Mara and Otak can deny him. As we look at the entering turns here. Mime's had some mistakes with this jump right here. He goes so close to the inside corner there. But the car did not collide. He makes it through and he takes first right now. By point two ahead of the other players. Maybe this could be where he ends the World Cup for himself. Otak and trying to keep up, but it's yeah, maybe a little too late. Mime in the lead, and he is looking to close it out in this finals position. Jumping into the ice slide, he will not lose time, but Mime going so tight into the turn there, but does not lose any exit speed, and there's only the Bob Sack left for Mime to call himself second place in the World Championship, and it does look like he's gonna get it. M Mutter really trying to deny, but Mime closing it out in here second place in the world what an performance by mime gg to mime a lot of potential so many years left to play the game as well at the highest level excited to see what he can do going forward and now we will have the one versus one for third and fourth between mura and otak who have both had a fantastic tournament in their own right getting to the grand final getting through those hard fought semis that might as well have been finals of their own. And now let's see who gets on the podium, gets the bronze medal in what I believe is the most stacked world championship we've had. This has been a wild ride. This has been an incredible showing of all the players. And Mutter currently is the one who is the closest to hitting that next finalist position. If he can maintain this pace, he will get at least six points every round, which means that three rounds he will be guaranteed to be in finalist position if Otak can get that 10 points every time. And it looks like Otak is going into the Bob Sack. He is making a mistake and Mutter will inherit the lead. Is he going to get those 10 points? I think he will. Mutter going up to 135 points. He will get to 135. Five away from finalists. And do we have one more round this map? Or are we going to go to Quicksand? Mutter's choice to decide this one more it looks like on bob sag mara will hit finalist no matter what so all he has to do is try to deny otak the time yeah trying to deny otak uh the four more points he would get if he was first but mara is gonna be heading into quicksand with that finalist tag next to his name the map of his choice and definitely a map that he is fast on so otak has quite the task ahead of him to deny Mutta at least three rounds in a row. Yeah, that's going to be tough. And on Mutta's choice, but Otak was really good on Quicksand earlier. Really showed up and Mutta had some struggles with that. So we will see once we get there. For now, Otak in the lead, in the identity, coming up. And get it here. Just need to stick that landing and then go very close to the pillars on the left to set up for this jump. If you land on the downhill, it's all but done, basically. You gotta avoid the obstacle, get the boosters, and he will take the 10. Great time as well. Oh yeah, low 101. That is definitely a competitive time that would win him the round in most of the matches we've seen. And I think now, Mara is in finalist position as we're heading into the final round of Bob Sag, I think. Yeah, one more. <laughs> counting is hard, counting to four can be difficult so we see I mean, yeah when the uh when the odd when the stacks are this heavy and 
the players are driving so intensely, it is difficult to counter forward. <laughs> That's just a symbol of a good match, I think. We us losing our minds a little bit. Mara finalist, Otaka Karlik the head. He needs three in a row, as he said right now, to do it. Starting with this one. If he drives the time he did in the round prior, it's gonna be very hard for Mara to win in his first finalist attempt. Gets a better jump though up on the platform, a better drop down to temporarily be a car length ahead on the ice slide. More exit speed as well. This is very good signs for Mara. If he lands the Bob Sag jumps, gets a good one there, but Otak's coming back with more speed, and Otak, if he lands this jump, will be in first. Does he get the speed? No, he doesn't. And Mara takes third in the World Cup 2022. And we have the podium players. Carl Jr. on first, Mime on second. Mata on third, and Otak will take that fourth place. Well played by all of the players. It's an incredible spectacle. If you haven't seen Dragmania Esports before and this is your first tournament, uh, get excited for more. There's a regular season in the autumn and the spring. There's playoffs just like this, but the quality will be hard to, uh, to match for the next tournament. That was incredible.